Hello, hello. Welcome, everyone. 6 a.m. Run podcast from our, uh, how long can I say new for, our new 6 a.m. Run podcast studio. Um, excited to be here. I'm with someone especially that I've known, I feel like, my whole life. We've known, I mean, I'm, and I, I don't want to say my age because I don't want to say yours. <laughs> so, but, but I, I'm excited. Uh, we have Becca Custers with us today. Um, I want to let you introduce yourself in one moment, but first of always, 6 a.m. Run, our new studio. Obviously, you guys know 6 amrun.com sponsors this. Definitely check out the site. Um, you guys know me, Hami Mahani. Now, let's get to Becca Custers. Thank you so much for being on the show. Um, please, if you don't mind, in, in, give us the intro, intro um, who you are. And if you didn't want to say, I, I'd love to see if what your thought on meeting me and how you know me is instead of me saying it. But go ahead, Becca. <laughs> Um, so I'm Rebecca Custers. Um, we have known each other for a long time, uh, a million years ago. We right. met through mutual friends. Yes. Um, so a little bit about me. I um, I am the founder and president of Live Like Lucas Inc., um, a nonprofit that my family and I started in memory of my son. Um, and I, I I'm also you know. A, a full-time employee elsewhere as well, yeah. but this is certainly where my passion is within this work. Well, let's get to that in a second too, in terms of that, because my wife was on the show and we were talking. You, 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 you are you're the mom. You are a mom. You're you you. It's it's you wear a lot of hats, and I know a lot of obviously through social media. I know a lot of what you're going through, like with not going through, but like marriages and things that moms have to go through. So we'll get that. Let's start off every episode. I like to start off with one, a sneaker that means a lot to me. Um, this being one of the early episodes in our podcasting studio and video, um, I wanted a lot of, a lot of what goes on behind the scenes at 6 a.m. run. What I get asked in my DMs, it's not, are you single or anything? It's what running shoe do you wear? So those are my DMs. And I thought, let's use this episode. We're going to talk a lot about health and wellness. Uh, let me answer that question. So every episode, as I always do. So guys, my sneaker of choice in running is the Pegasus. This is the Pegasus 40. I do have the 41s. Every year they come out. Um, so I'm a Pegasus guy. I feel like it's just enough cushion. Um, I... I and I just always like the looks of them. I feel like Nike Pegasuses are the, the way to go, both indoor, outdoor. Sometimes I run outdoor. Uh, you guys know I'm Persian. I don't run outside in the winter. Can't do it. Are you a, are you an indoor, outdoor person? Indoor. indoor. Yeah, I can't mess with Delaware. We're in Delaware. It's, I can't mess with that. Becca, your thought. It does have to be a workout. What is, what is one of your favorite sneakers of all time that you have or you like a lot? I mean, it's, it's nothing fancy, but I love a good NMD. Adidas I'm missing NMD. out. What is it? What am I? What and NM? Adidas. NMD. Oh, okay. And okay. It's so like walking on clouds. And that's that's the workout shoe. And you, I do. I use that for working out. For and you, you can do everything in it. You do yeah. every kind of workout. Okay. I I gotta look into that. And and Adidas. I can't. I cannot not wear something without a swoosh on it. I don't now, know listen, why. I've, I've I've always been a Nike girl myself <laughs> too, but I don't know. For working out, I always I always lean towards the NMD. Let's let's start, if you don't mind, and, and, and tell me, you know, we you did, you know, we just talked about who you are and, 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 and how we've known each other and what you do. Um, do you mind kind of taking us through um, how some of those things have happened and, 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 and from the start a little bit of, of, of your journey? Uh, my with the nonprofit or yeah, with... if you, uh, we'll spend a lot of time. Obviously, the nonprofit. There's a big event coming up with that, so I definitely want to get to that, and we want to promote that in a second here. But yeah, if we can get to to the Live Like Lucas Foundation and and how how that came about. Uh, well, the the foundation came about um, through our journey with my youngest son Lucas. Uh, he was battling childhood cancer. Um, came up completely unexpectedly out of nowhere and the healthiest kid you'd ever meet. Um, and during that journey with him, you know, we had a lot of organizations that stepped in and helped us out because there was a period of time where we were living in the hospital with Lucas and I had to stop working. So I, I you know, we lost part of our income. Um, it was a really vulnerable time for us mm -hmm. to have to, you know, um, seek help from others. But so, you know, seeing all the great work that they were doing and the way that they supported us and so many other families, we just knew that we wanted to, you know, to find a way to give back as well mm -hmm. um, through his journey. And, um, you know, ultimately, 
before we lost Lucas, before he lost his battle, um, you know, he, he had this great experience with Carson Wentz. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's this fantastic ESPN story about the two of yeah. them and, and about his, you know, live like yes. Lucas Dutch destroyer yeah. bracelet. And that's ultimately where we kicked off mm -hmm. um, the nonprofit. We had people reaching out from all can, over the world. Can I pause there? Because yeah. it, everyone, it's on, it's all over YouTube. I I don't. I don't want to selfishly say this. I think part of me does because I know I've known you before that, and even during that, that's got to be. Do you know that it? It and again, I, this is not going to be. This episode is going to be a little up and down. I know that. And I'm. I'm trying to contain myself. But that episode, obviously, it was. It. It. it maybe because I'm local. But if you could tell me if I'm crazy. That episode, just even when it aired before, I think it wasn't YouTube at the time that it went, but it was, I remember that week in the coming weeks, it was everywhere. And mm -hmm. Carson Wentz continued after that episode. It wasn't, by the way, just that episode. He, you know, we taught, we joked a couple of times when we see each other because he was traded, mm -hmm. but he still, and to this day, holds a very special place in your heart because it wasn't like we saw one episode. Yeah. Tell us a little bit, if you don't mind, that journey, if you want to. Yeah. Um, so it it's it initiated with um, an ESPN special that was aired right before a Monday night football game. Um, and it, it was it was everywhere. Yeah. Like I said, we had people reaching out from all over the world um, about the story about Lucas, about the bracelet. Um, and then there were, you know, as time went on, there were additional follow up stories done. Uh, but. Carson himself, yeah, you're, you're right. I mean, you would see him, he posted stories wearing his, his bracelet, his t-shirt, you know, that we yeah. had given him. And he, um, it, his bracelet has broken a couple times. So his <laughs> wife has called me and I've gone and meet, met her and, nice. and replaced it for him, but he, he still wears it to this day. Yeah. So. And l let's get a little bit, you, the foundation, if you can, we can talk about this because the, the foundation that he pr helped and everything that's going on, there, I want to say, because I know when 6 a.m. run started about right, right before COVID, I think was, or two years before COVID was the first one. So we're in year seven, mm -hmm. I believe, am I correct? Yep. Of the run of the 5K that's every fall. Mm -hmm. Can we talk a little bit about that? Yeah, awesome. So um, that's our, you know, our biggest fundraiser every year that we host. Um, we started that in our first year. Yes, this year will be our seventh year. I was right. Um, and it's just, it, you know, it's, it's awesome to see um, all the people out in the community come together yeah. for, you know, such such a what we think is such a great cause. It is. Um, and it's, you know, it's such a great way for us to keep Lucas's name alive, keep his mm -hmm. memory alive. And um, while doing that, we're doing it for a good cause. Right. So yeah. it's it, we, we live for this every year. It's a lot of work, you know, yeah. putting together a 5K. But um, it's just it's just great to see you, everybody your out. family. Um, you, you, you come from, I'm jealous of that. You come from a large family. I'm an, you know, I'm an only child, um, but everyone is there and it's, it's such a, it, it has, I want to say this, I, I know, I know I'm interviewing you, but I want to, it has a different, your 5k has a different feel. I, I've done 5k's, um, and a lot of companies will throw charitable 5k's. It's very, correct me if I'm wrong. And you and I are both in the banking industry. We won't name any banks, but they're very like transactional. If that makes mm -hmm. sense, mm -hmm. yours is not. Do you did you do something different, or is it just it's because it's so genuine? I don't. I, I want to say that your five K is not transactional. You know what yeah, I mean? I, I don't know. I don't know that we. I don't know that we did anything different. I think you know to your point that it it maybe it is just um, you know the the story behind it, mm -hmm. the the reason for us being there. Um, you know each year. I make sure to share a little bit about um, our story and yeah. about you know some of the ways that we've been able to make an impact before we even kick the race off. Yeah. Um, so I don't I don't know yeah. I I don't think I've done anything different, but I be, just I be agree. just be honest and be like yeah. yeah from the heart yeah yeah no and and again I think and I think you are there right sometimes some of these charities uh, there's not a um, and again not to please I want to make sure I say this correctly not to downplay a charitable for like let's say breast cancer but i think to your point you being there physically yourself and i want to say on, on on air and and to to what you're doing i 
I commend your strength 100%. Um, because every time I ask you um, for anything for, for, for us, but also at the same time to do something where we can help mm -hmm. promote the, 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 the foundation, you, I, I know you do it, but like I said, it's a, it's, it's such a, you, you're there. And, and I, and I want to thank you for that. Um, with that being said, seventh year, are there anything, cause it's now grown, right? I think it's every year has, has the growth obviously been there and where do you see the foundation going, you know, maybe in the future, obviously the runs and everything have been very consistent and very successful. What do you see the vision for the foundation moving forward possibly? Actually, let's pause there. You've even worked, I know you talked about companies that have helped. I'm sorry if I'm jumping around a little bit, but you've even partnered with other NFL celebrities. Mm -hmm. If you wanna talk a little bit about that. Um, yeah, I can. I mean, one of one of the organizations that um, helped us, like I said, when we were going through our journey was the Still Strong Foundation. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Devin still yep. leads that. And um, we actually we had an opportunity to meet Devin when Lucas was still with us. It okay. was when he was he was sick. He was going through treatment. Um, and they, one of their things they do every year is a, a gala. Mm -hmm. And they had invited us to come out in that particular year. Um, well, I, I spoke at it for many years, but I spoke at that event, and I think Lucas presented an award at the event. Mm -hmm. So we had an opportunity to to meet Devin and his family, and um, you know, him and Lucas joked around and rubbed each other's bald heads, you know, for for good luck. So we just we formed a, a really good connection with him, and um, you know, they're still we still find ways to support each mm -hmm. other. Um, they're definitely one of the organizations that we filter our family yeah. support through. Um, but yeah, they're, they're, they're another one of those fantastic organizations. So um, in terms of, you know, where, where I see things going, you know, our, our kind of three areas of focus right now and, and ongoing are um, family financial support. So we want to be able to do what was done for us, right? right? We know that there's families that are that are going to lose their income, that are going to struggle through this, mm -hmm. and they shouldn't be worrying about that, right? Yeah. They shouldn't be worrying about their mortgage and all those things. So, um, you know, that's one of the the big areas that um, that we give back to. Um, also, childhood cancer research, you know, research mm -hmm. grants. Um, and then you know we do we do support some other you know smaller nonprofits that um, that Lucas loved, so um, we would love to you know of course we want to see more people out every yeah. year at our event. It was huge the first year after the ESPN yeah. special. Um, it's pretty consistent every year since then. But you know again the more the merrier. Yeah. Um, we want to see the whole community out there. Yeah. Um, and we'd love to to be able to to do other um, fundraising events as well. You know, we'd we'd like to get into the gala game too, mm -hmm. and um, just anything to continue to to raise funds for um, yeah. for this important cause. Where do you think you're probably the person I would want? Where do you think we are? You know, I think when things come out, we 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 uh, I think as Americans, I want to say we're we're so competitive. We talk about sport and fitness. Mm -hmm. um, I think cancer is something. I'm going to say how I feel. I almost look at cancer as like a, a, a villain, an opponent, mm -hmm. right? That, cause I'm a, I'm such a sports guy and I know you are a sports person and a sports mom. I know all, all your kids were in sports, obviously knowing, you know, how, how being such so close to you for so long, where do you think versus this opponent? I, I, and for our audience watching, cause I, I know this is my question genuinely, where do you think we are in the cancer battle today? Uh, obviously childhood cancer, I know ranks, no, you know, losing a child, that's, you know, again, that's not something any parent wants to go through, but where are we, where do you think we are in that battle versus cancer today? Um, you know, I have a couple different thoughts and opinions about what you just said. You know, I think a lot of people probably view it like you do, right? Yeah. Like it's a, a villain and, um, and also, you know, in terms of trying to get people interested in supporting, mm -hmm. I think a lot of times people view it that way. Um, yeah. And I also think that Sometimes if you haven't directly been impacted by yeah. it, it's it's not necessarily right. something, you know, you're going to spend your time supporting. Yeah. Um, I, there's so much more to do, mm -hmm. um, especially when it comes to childhood cancer research. Yeah. Um, I, I get very I get very frustrated. I'm just going to say how I feel yeah. because I feel like, you know, there's so much focus and there should be. There's so much focus on things like breast cancer and 
you don't see that level of, of focus and awareness and support and funding in the childhood cancer yeah. space. So I think there's just a ton of, of work to be done. Yeah, well, let, let's, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll do what we can. And uh, like I said, I, I know COVID, um, we had to kind of, uh, 6 a.m. had to pivot and do, do, go around COVID. I think we're kind of, it's weird to say, but we officially are going to start doing marathons again and come out of that. So like, so I, I was excited to have you on here. You have, speaking of that, actually, you have some great vendors that have been consistent and that show up. So the food trucks and stuff that you have, it's amazing. If you go to Becca's and I, I don't want to, if it's, but you go to uh, the Live Like Lucas 5K and when you finish, it's, you're, you're rewarded with vendors and things like that, right? So can you tell us some of the vendors that'll be there this year? Yeah. So you're, you're talking about Carson's food yes. truck and they did come out for a couple years. And I think with all of um, his trades and moves, yeah. unfortunately, we don't we don't have them out every year anymore, but um, it was fantastic when we did have them. So yeah, we have a we have a lot of really committed volunteers and vendors mm -hmm. and donors. Um, so you know, every year we've got we've got a DJ out there, right? Yeah. So you can have a good time and listen to some great music. Um, we work with um, uh, Dr. Katie at Synergy uh -huh. Integrated Health Center. Um, her and her team yep. at her chiropractor office comes out. They offer free massages. Yeah. Um, you know, post pre race massages. Um, we've because real quick, because people take this uh, again, going back to comparing it to other five Ks, people come out to compete in yours too. Mm -hmm. Like they don't want to walk mm -hmm. like people that I assumed, I won't say who people who I assumed are going to walk. I turn around and they're running hard. Yeah. Like, yeah. Cause we've got, you know, in addition to that stuff, um, and we've got we've got other stuff, Hami, right? Like right. we've got we always have a, a photo booth right. out there so you can have a little bit of fun and you know have a memory to take with you. Yeah. And of course we've got our product table out there where you can buy all kinds of great um live like Lucas stuff. But um and then there's free food, free drink. Yeah. But you know, we've really tried to um make it a little more, you know, fun and exciting. So uh, we have a lot of great raffles out there mm -hmm. every year. Um, and, and great awards, right? Yeah. So we have some fantastic um, folks that, that annually tend to donate great things for us so that we can give those back to the people yeah. that are, you know, placing in certain things. So a couple of years, like with a couple of years I was coming in a row, it was the same, I think I want to say it was the same young kid that kept winning. Mm -hmm. I was like, you know who I'm talking about? I was like, um, I was like, I, I, that's how I also knew. I was like, I'm, cause of my competitive spirit. Um, I, I, again, Becca, what, what you're doing, um, you know, a lot of this podcast uh, has been, which is great, are people that are making differences. And, um, you know, I want to make sure you know, I, I, I'm with you. I think that always, there, I don't deny there can be more, but obviously, you know, the, what it, it, think of what it would have been if you didn't do what you do. So um, I think for everyone watching this, we're going to put everything out there. Um, let me just kind of throw it back to you before I wrap it up. Any last words? Definitely provide the registration link. Um, we are obviously pre-taping this, but we're going to try to get this episode out around Labor Day. Um, the race, go ahead. You tell all the information and the yeah, date so, and everything. Um, the race is on Saturday, September 14th, and it's at Rockford Park in Wilmington, Delaware. Um, we start, we open registration at eight. Okay. And, and people come in person and can register right yeah, in person. Absolutely. So you can pre-register now online, I think up, up until probably the 12th. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, if you haven't registered ahead of time, you can register day of, we open that at 8 a.m. Um, and then we, you know, kick off with opening comments yep. and, and anthem. And then um, we start the event at nine. Yeah. So we would love to see everyone out there. Um, we have a registration link available on uh -huh. our website. So you can get to that um, at livelikelucas.org. Yeah. And guys, let me tell you if, and, and, and I know a lot, if you wake up and it's a beautiful fall day, it's 9 a.m., you're always out of there by 12. You Early, have the rest yeah, of your Saturday. Absolutely. But it's for a great cause. Um, if there, and if I can put my stamp of approval on anything, it, it's the Live Like Lucas Foundation, guys. Um, so I'm, we're going to talk offline about some of the other ways. I definitely want to make sure this year, we're, same thing, we're there. Um, even I, I'll tell you, I, I should say this, one of the first ones before COVID, I think was it the first one, was in rain. It was. And it was fun. It was. That was our that was our first event at and Bellevue. Remember, it was at Bellevue. Yeah, yeah. we weren't at Rockford yet. No, and it, poured and it, it was, was fun freezing, though. But everybody had a good time. Uh, it, it, because again, I think you know what I tell my wife this all the time. It's again, it goes back to fun is what you make of it, and then who you're with. Mm -hmm. 
and I think me, you, Rob, I never forget Rob was there. Every and and especially being Delaware, let me say this too to people, especially local. You're gonna you're you're not gonna go there. Even if you go by yourself, you're not gonna be by yourself. You're it you're gonna know something. You've done such a great job of the Live Like Lucas Foundation and getting it out there. I I never forget. I literally again I was coming support. I had no intent. I you know I knew like 50 people right off the bat, right? Like Mary Ellen, and I can even remember. Like it's and, and guys, so I'll say, regardless, rain or shine, go. You're you you are there. It's a 5K. You you will you will have an amazing time. I'm sorry, I, I interrupted you. But any other last words? I'm so sorry. Um, no, I just uh, I'm just so thankful to you guys, and you know your continued support, and, and of course. Um, I appreciate it. No, Be Becca, thank you. I'll, on, can I give you a hug? I think yes, you can give me a hug. On air, thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for thank the time. You. And thank you guys. Oh, thank, um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll definitely keep uh, the link for everything in down below on Spotify for the audio. Um, and again, thanks, 6AM Run. And I'm sure Live Like Lucas followers are watching this too because you have your following. So thank everyone. Thank you guys. See you guys.